I, it's something I, I say in my mm-hmm. rhyme that I'm on my, my poetry. I say, when I step in the ring, it ain't no disses and mean mugs, but when the bell rings, it's fists and mean slugs. <laughs> 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 Street Soldiers Radio is the voice of the Alive and Free movement, preventing violence worldwide. All right, Street Soldiers, here we go. Revolutionary Radio, keeping alive and free, the one, the only, the original Street Soldiers. All right, I hold once again. I'll let you take a look at this copy of SF Weekly. The title, Fighting Chance, on the cover is Slugger. Uh, I'll just read the caption. Slugger Kareem Mayfield versus the toughest opponent of all, the brutal winner take all world of boxing. I'm um, actually I've been fighting for about uh, nine years now. Yeah, what yeah. got you started? Um, actually there was a uh, gym at the um, <clears throat> Ida B Wells Continuation School. Oh, at Ida B. Yes, at Ida B. And um, they had um. You um, didn't knock out no kids over there at Ida B. Uh, did you? Uh, no, <laughs> no. Well, that's uh, right. Don't tell anybody if you did. Ain't you? Well, okay. Well, <laughs> 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 no, so, uh, anyhow, um, Coach Ben Batista, which is, um, everyone knows him, he's a uh, mentor in the Bay Area. And uh, make a long story short, a friend of mine named um, Amwar had um, mentioned that it was a gym that um, opened. In, um, and I never really wasn't too much into boxing. My brother actually was, but I, I was more of a football player. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I went to go check it out. You know, sparred this guy, went up there like, man, let me, let me fight. You know, I didn't know it was called sparring at that time. Anyhow, um, you know, I put the gloves on and dropped this cat that had been boxing for like a year, and I was inspired ever since. What's your record now, Kareem? I'm actually 15-0. Uh, 15-0? and 0. 15 and 0. Now, the road to the top is people have to fight you. Mm, so yeah. so you, you, you talk about the latest fight. I guess it's a Lopez fight. Was yes. that the last one you had? That's correct. Which was, uh, just talk about that fight, because reading about it, you must have beat the hell out of that boy. I mean, that was, <laughs> yeah. that, that was a war. You know, it was. And uh, um, honestly, you know, this is my first time actually um, shedding blood in the ring. I've, you know, all of my right. professional fights, I've been amateur fights and even street fights, I've never shed blood. But um, we had collided heads, and my, my, my hair had got cut. My forehead got cut. Um, nevertheless, um, this guy, um, he was a two-time Olympian, and he yeah. was definitely a game fighter. He had like 280-odd fights. Oh, my God. And, um, yeah, so he was a game opponent. I knocked him down three times. Normally, when I knock him down, they don't get back up. But he got up three times. I felt like he was the Terminator. I'll be back. <laughs> he was like, I'm like, dang. This dude, every time I'm like, yes, it's over. You know what I mean? Because we don't get paid for the rounds, you know. I know. Every minute it ends, you know, so. Nevertheless, uh, yeah, he kept getting back up. He was definitely a game opponent, and um, you know, it just this actually got me ranked though. It put me number nine in the number world. Number nine so in the world, a great junior world me. Yeah. You know, weedgrass, yeah, stuff. You go in the, you know, go in the, uh, what's it, the Jamba, Jamba Juice? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, he was doing that before weedgrass. I'm out of brother. Weedgrass, he does yoga three Dude. times a week. You know, for flexibility. I, mean, I tried yoga. Yoga's hard. It is. Oh, it's hard as hell, really. You know, swims. Let's say you swim at 24 hours. I, I 20, do 24 hours. 25 hours in the 24 laps. He works out. Now, it says here you worked out you, you, four times a day. Four times, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that would that's be. incredible. It is. San Francisco, California, um, Fillmore District, uh, you know, uh, uptown, downtown, you know, just, just all the way around, you know, um, Frisco stand up, you know, we, uh, the Bay, I represent the Bay when I'm, when I'm out of town, but you know, when I'm in town, they let, let them know what it is, San Francisco, California. <laughs> well, the Bundo is where, um, you know, when we was younger, you know what I mean, I, I got into some, uh, you know, I was in the streets and that's where we used to get the Bundo was a, a money, so we called it the Bundo, but also the Bundo was a spot where we, we fought, you know, with the boxing gloves. If one of the friends or one of our partners, you know, got out of the line, they're like, man, come on, let's go pull, pull them gloves out, you know what I mean? So we stayed uh, chunking them and, um, you know, fighting with the gloves. There's it no weight classes in the streets. And, you know, like I said, um, we started, um, I would fight when we were younger. This is before we were the last of the, we call it the last of the Mohicans because we were the last ones that, actually that, were, fought. that fought. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So the next generation after that is when the guns and everything start coming in. Six of Mayfield's eight closest friends have been murdered. Mm. And, uh, in fact, this is, this is you, LeRon, saying there were people out here who were even better than Kareem, but they never put that. Uh, foot, uh, first foot forward. They could have been champions, but the streets got them. Exactly. Yeah. You know, we see this. You know, every time, state to state. You know, uh, there's many of uh, you know Michael Jordans out there. You know what I mean? And Mayweather's and Kareem Mayfields out there, but they don't get a chance because they get caught up in the streets. You coming from Fillmore? You know, uh, we really ain't got no you know role models or 
or people to look up to, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, um, you know, we want to be the ones to be the inspiration, you know, for our, for our future, for our children and, uh, you know, our, our children of our community.